Welcome to another Fast Tech video where today we're going to learn how to clean and replace your laser deck on a PS2 Slim so that it can read your disc or video game successfully. This is a PS2 Slim. If your PS2 Slim is not reading your disc, it might be because it's dirty. So we're going to check it out and see if we can clean it up. Or you might need a new laser if the old one is not reading the disc. We are wanting to find out why your PS Slim might not be reading your disc or DVD. And it might be because it needs to be cleaned. So what you wanna do, you wanna clean the laser lens and with, with alcohol and a little Q-tip swab. You're going to rub the alcohol into the laser, just like so. little circular motions on the laser. Just the laser, just like this. And now that it's looking nice and clean, as you can see, and, and be gentle. So if the reason why your PS2 Slim was not able to read your disc or your DVD, because it was dirty. Now it should be working after you have swabbed it with alcohol. If you need some alcohol or some tools to clean your PS2, please check us out at FastTag down below in the description box and pin comment. Okay, so if the reason why your PS2 Slim was not reading the disc because it was dirty, then cleaning it with the alcohol would have fixed that issue. But if it is still not reading the disc, or the DVD, then we might have to take the laser deck out of the system and replace it. So what we're gonna wanna do is take apart the back of the PS2 Slim. First, we wanna use the FastTech Pry Tool to remove the covers, which comes from our FastTech Toolkit, which you can get in the link below. It's super convenient and easy to remove the covers just like so. So you want to remove, there we go, one, two, some of them have already been removed, so they're not on here, but we're removing four. So now we have removed four of the covers with our handy tools. So then we want to use the FastTech Pro Auto Kit to unscrew the Phillips screws. So just like that, then you pull up the screw. Next one. Oh, this one's already a little bit loose. So I think we just, okay, this one's loose. So we can just reach in there. Like the pry tool next to me can be used to do so. Okay, let's see if we can unscrew it a little bit more. It seems to be loose, it's stuck. Sometimes these things happen. Okay, let's try to use this again to see if we can get it out. Okay, sometimes you have a screw that's very difficult to get out, guys, so you gotta be gentle. Okay, let's see if we can. There we go. Sorry, everybody, that screw did not wanna come out. So let's see how easy the other ones are to get out. Okay, so finally we got the screw. So this would be way more easier to get out if these were the original stock screws, but they are replaced, so that's why we're having difficulty. But now we should be able to flip over the system and unscrew the rest, or it should just, okay, so now it's just gonna come apart like so. So now we have, okay, now, now the rest of the screws have come out. So here is the front part. So you can also give this a clean uh, in the sink if you would like to, because that's the plastic part. So we have that. And then this is what we're trying to get to. Now we have access to the laser deck and there's one screw missing. So now what we're gonna do is remove the laser deck from the system. So now because we only have three screws and one is missing, we're gonna remove the remaining three screws with our handy dandy tool that we can get below in the description box and pin comment. So we're going to remove the three screws. Much easier than the other ones. So it looks like our FastTech Pro Auto Kit is out of battery. So we want to recharge this beautiful angel. 
So we're gonna plug her in like so. Get it guys? That's a joke. Okay. So now we wanna remove the last two screws. By loosening them, we don't have to take them all the way out. So we're going to remove the last two screws because remember one was missing. So you probably would have to remove four screws. So we just wanna loosen it like so, just like that. There we go, so now it's loosened. Okay, so now we wanna remove the ribbon cable. So we just wanna pinch the blue part like so. I can grab it and pull it out. So after we have removed the biggest ribbon cable, we're gonna remove the smaller ones on the left side. There we go, that one. Now we have one more that has a clip. So we have to loosen the clip Pull up the clip and then out. there we go. So now there's one more ribbon cable running underneath the deck. So we're going to pull it out like so. And um, we're going to use tweezers to pull up this clip here. And then once you pull up the clip, you can safely remove the cable. And there we go. We have disengaged the laser deck from the system. This laser deck is the reason why your system is not able to read the disc or DVD. And at this point, if you do, if you are looking to replace your laser deck, then you can order your laser deck at FastTac and find the link in the description below and pin comment. So now at this point, if you have ordered your laser deck off fasttechstore.com, then you will be able to now install the new laser deck in, back inside your system. So first we're going to remove the loose screws that have fallen into the system. So then we are going to have to reinstall the cables back into the deck. So we are going to do that into the new laser deck that you have purchased on fasttechstore.com now you can safely reinstall it back into the system so we are going to do that by put the ribbon cable back into the clip now we got it we're gonna push down the pin like that so now we have the ribbon cable in okay so now it is successfully clipped back in. Make sure the clip is in right. Okay, the clip has finally been installed with the ribbon. And then we're going to flip it back over, push down where you pulled it up on the tape a bit. And then we're going to put the rest of the ribbon cables back inside of your deck. Okay, let's start with the blue one. By pushing it in, Just like so, that one's pretty easy. It doesn't have a clip. You just push it in like that, check if it's all good. One side's a little pushed in more, so you wanna make sure that it's straight. I think that's good. You just make sure that it's nice and secure. So now we wanna do the other side of the long ribbon cable that we just did underneath. We wanna push that in. And then we wanna push down the clip and secure it. So now we're going to put the little, the tiniest ribbon cable back in. You could probably use your, your hands, but because I have these nails, we're going to straighten it up. So now, okay, so we got this ribbon cable in. So now all of the ribbon cables have been secured and reinstalled. So now we have successfully reinstalled the deck back in, but we need to put the screws back into the deck. So let's start with the bigger ones. And then we can use our Fastec Pro Auto Kit to reinstall the screws, just like so. And it is fast and convenient. So if you want to have convenience at your fingertips, then order the FastTech Auto Tool at FastTechStore.com. Okay, those are secure. Remember we were missing the one screw, so we're gonna do three. Hopefully you guys have all of your screws. I mean, it still seems to go in fine, so 
but obviously four is better than three. But there we go, so the big ones have been secured. Okay, so now that we have successfully done our laser replacement, we're going to screw the case back on, just like so. So then we're gonna flip it over so we can do the screws with our handy dandy Fast Tech Auto Tool that you can order at fasttechstore.com because it makes everything quick and easy. So we can place the screws back in first with our fingers and then we can tighten them up with our tool. And then hopefully we will see that replacing the laser deck means that our system can now read the games and our PS2 slip is no longer broken. Because these screws aren't the original screws, they're kind of difficult to unscrew and screw back in, but you might have the original, so this part will be easier for you. But it is especially easier with our tool. Okay, so there we go, we got that one. Now we got that one was easy. We got one more. So now that we have screwed back on the case, we have to put the covers on, which we have some missing, but you would wanna put the rubber covers on the corner. And you can just do that with your fingers. These feet ensure that the console doesn't slip around when you are using it. The rubber cover is to make sure that the system doesn't slide and the plastic ones are just to cover the screws and to make it look nice. So now that we have put all the covers back on because ours was missing so we had to make do, now our system is fully back together. Okay, so now we are going to test the system to see if reinstalling a new laser deck would solve the problem of our system not being able to read the disc. To test our PS2 Slim 7900 and see if it works. So let's put the disc in. Let's try Def Jam. So let's slip the disc into its spot. See if she works. Turn her on. So far, it looks like we have a successful system working. There we go. And you are ready to play any game that you would like. EA games challenge everything. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
watching this video today. If you liked this video, please send us support by liking the video and or subscribing to our channel. All the support helps so that we can bring you more awesome videos.